Hi everyone, so tonight in bed I plan to start another new Kindle book. This time I'm going to be starting Enchante, or something along those lines, by Gita Trelisse. This is a YA fantasy novel set in Paris in the 1800s, if I remember correctly. Its average rating on Goodreads is 3.8, so not spectacular because it's at this point got 1,804 ratings. It's been out a month and a bit, basically. I'm very slow with getting to review this book. I received this book from the publishers via NetGalley, and the whole reason I originally requested this book was simply because the cover's pretty, for starters, but also it was just something really different. I've not read a whole lot of fantasy yet. Fantasy's still very much a genre that I'm trying to push myself into more, and the whole thought of Oh, is it late 1700s, actually? It says at the very top of the Goodreads page. Paris in 1789. Um, somewhere around that area of time, anyway. And I just thought that this would be quite interesting, sort of throwing a bit of my love of history in with getting into some more fantasy. And Paris seems to be the setting of the year from what I've seen from other people's videos talking about other books. But I've not read many books set in Paris, especially fantasy or a historical kind of fantasy like this one is, so I'm intrigued. I've seen reviews all over the place. I've seen friends who I trust give it like four and five stars. I've seen people who I trust give it like two stars, so I really don't know where to go with this. I don't know how I'm going to end up feeling about it. I don't know anything about the actual storyline itself. I've kind of blanked all the little bits that I have learned here and there. So I've got no idea at all what I'm going into with this. So I'm going to say I'm going to end up giving it... Oh, this could go one of two ways. I could end up not liking it very much because I'm a bit picky with my writing styles. And this is obviously a new author. Or I could end up going, wow, why were people not loving this and giving it like four stars? Mm three or four, three or four. I'm going to predict that I give this four stars. That's what I'm going for. And just because I've not been able to tell you much about what it's about, the very first line on the Goodreads page, this is kind of what attracted me to the book. So Paris in 1789 is a labyrinth of twisted streets filled with beggars, thieves, revolutionaries and magicians. That is kind of all that's really stayed in my head. I can't wait to get stuck in. As I said, I'll be starting this tonight when I get in from work, unless I fall asleep pretty quickly. So that's tonight's plans. So I've actually given up on reading this book. I've been reading it for nearly a month, which is just insane anyway. And I've only made it to 24%. So for the last week, I've been thinking, should I give up on it? Should I give up on it? And I really have quite an issue with DNFing books. I'm not very good at it. But I finally convinced myself to just give up. I wasn't enjoying it. To give you just just a few reasons why I've given up on this book. One, I get that it's set in Paris, so you're going to get some kind of French aspects to it. But when most of the writing is in English, obviously, because... I'm reading it in English, yet you've got the odd random passage in French that was just really jarring. It kind of threw me back out of the story and put me off. It just didn't sit right. It's like they're already talking in French and we're just getting the English translated version, so why then shove some French in it? I don't get it. I didn't like that at all. On top of that, you also just have really boring long passages that just go on and on and I was only just honestly picking it up reading two pages and then going to sleep or watching videos or doing anything except reading I found myself not wanting to read and so for my own sanity I've given up on this book and it actually feels pretty amazing on Goodreads I've marked it as a one star read because even though I've not finished it I like to kind of just keep track of stuff that way so I know that I'm never going to go back to it because it's a full permanent DNF. But beyond that, I'm just not interested. It didn't capture me and I was nearly a quarter of the way in. Let's face it, 24% is a quarter of the way in and I wasn't interested. I can't even now tell you any of the characters' names. Can't tell you what happened. I wasn't interested in any of it at all. So yeah, 
that's a sad end to this one but there's always more books on the bookshelf and on the kindle so no doubt I will see you soon with another book review where I've actually finished the book. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe by clicking the image of me if you want to see more book reviews and other bookish content from me. And I will see you soon. Bye-bye.